Welcome to this presentation on cardboard and plywood. These are sheet materials, like paper and metal, but they have a directionality to them, which means they bend more easily in one direction than the other. Let's take a look at cardboard first. This is corrugated cardboard, and you'll notice these triangular flutes that are trapped between two faces on either side. Here we can see the long axis of the flute. The cardboard does not want to bend very easily when force is applied perpendicular to the long axis, but when force is applied parallel to the axis, it will bend relatively easily. We can control where the cardboard bends in a couple of ways. We could score the outer surface, but then we've weakened the cardboard somewhat because there's only one surface on the other side that's intact. So instead, a better way to do it is to use this pointed uh, tongue depressor looking tool uh, to compress the cardboard on one side. Once it's compressed, it will fold along that line in both directions and the faces are intact on either side. So we can create these fold lines in the other direction too and the cardboard will bend around the fold line fairly easily. So while we can bend corrugated cardboard in two directions fairly easily if we're using fold lines, remember that the cardboard itself is stronger in one orientation than the other. On the right, the fold lines are perpendicular to the axis of the flutes. On the left, they're parallel you can see there's a significant difference in the structure of each triangle. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to create a curved panel in corrugated cardboard. We're using the same tool to create a series of parallel lines closely spaced to one another. This can be done in either direction in the cardboard. Once all of the depressions have been run along the cardboard for its full length, we can pre-crease all of those fold lines and start to roll the cardboard into a cylinder. Here's a piece that's been uh, completed and further rolling just helps to release the tension in the material and as it unfolds, it maintains its curved form. Let's take a look at plywood. This is 1 8 inch thick plywood, and as we know, plywood is made up of an uneven number of layers, so it flexes more in one direction than the other. I'm putting together a very simple structure that takes advantage of the directional flexibility of plywood. You'll notice that each piece has been cut halfway through in a couple of places, allowing them to slot together. Notice the grain direction is vertical in the longer, more flexible piece, yet horizontal in the shorter, stiffer piece. Once slotted together, that shorter piece does not want to deform, and it keeps the longer, more flexible element in tension. This creates a surprisingly simple yet structural form. And that's it for cardboard and plywood. Thanks for watching.